welcome back to my kitchen. A few years ago, I stumbled upon black rice at the supermarket and I decided to give it a try after Googling all the health benefits over the other types of rice. But the first time I tried to cook it, I noticed that following the directions on the package didn't seem to turn out so well. I also had the same experience following several online instructional videos. One of the videos even said that they only ate black rice because of the health benefits and that it didn't taste too good. This wasn't going to cut it for me because I like my food to taste good. After a few attempts, I finally have a recipe that works every time. So today, I'm gonna be showing you how I make black rice the easy way. I start by measuring out one cup of rice. Then I mince up three cloves of garlic. Now I need to measure out a little over one and a half cups of liquid to cook the rice in. Normally, I use homemade chicken broth, but since I don't have any on hand, I decided to go with an organic broth from the store mixed with some filtered water. With my Instant Pot set to saute, I pour in some oil and I add in the minced garlic from earlier and stir them around for a while. Once everything is nice and hot, I take my rice and I add it in and stir it up to make sure it doesn't burn. I want it to brown up a little bit, but it's kind of hard to tell because the rice is so dark. The garlic comes in handy here because it is lighter in color so you can see when it starts to turn a golden color. Now, I add in my broth and season it with some garlic powder, umami mushroom powder, sea salt, black pepper, and finally I add about a tablespoon of chicken paste. Stir the chicken base until it's dissolved into the liquid. If you're using a store-bought chicken broth, make sure you add enough salt and chicken base because they tend to be a bit more bland tasty. With homemade broth, you won't have to worry as much. Once everything is nice and stirred up, I set my Instant Pot to pressure cook for 35 minutes. After the 35 minutes are up, you could wait for the pressure to release on its own or you could release it yourself like I'm going to do. Time to taste this delicious rice. I hope you enjoyed making this black rice with me. Keep your eye out for the next video because we will be using it as part of the next recipe. Hey, you haven't subscribed? Um, it's down there. <laughs>